Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to reset your Windows 11 password. Now, if you have the BitLocker encryption turned on previously and the hard drive is encrypted, then this video is not for you. But if you have never set up the BitLocker or link to your Microsoft account, anything like that, and if this is a standalone user for your Windows 11, then this video is for you and I'll walk you through step by step on how to reset the password. All right, so if you have a different computer besides Dell like HP or Asus, MSI, any other computer, you still can follow along with the video. But specifically in this video, I like to make it just for the Dell because with the new Dell BIOS, you can't press the shift and holding down to boot into the Windows recovery mode or F8 to boot into the Windows recovery mode. Nothing like that would work. You would have to do something else a little bit different with this Dell. All right, so this laptop here is the 2022 version. And um, if you have a newer Dell, then you can follow along with the video. Um, anything that is newer than year of 2022, then you can follow along with the video. If anything older than that, then you might want to find a different video to try to uh, reset the Windows password. All right, so here, as you can see, the computer turns on and you boot to the login screen. And let's just say I tried to log it in with one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Let's just say that that was my password. I hit enter and I'm getting this password is incorrect. Try again. So I'm not able to get in, right? So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and turn off the computer or you can restart whichever way you want. And at this point, you want to keep tapping on F12. All right, the F12 is what we call the boot menu. So Dell runs on an F12 to get into the boot menu. And like I said, this is the newer version of the BIOS, which is the 1.4.0. So they do not have this um, advanced boot recovery key that you can press or anything. You have to go through the F12. That is my observation. Maybe things would change down the road, but as is for now, this is what we need to do. So when you get to the boot menu here, uh, the next step is to click on support assist OS recovery. So let's go ahead and select this. Uh, not the bio setup. Oh, sorry about that. It's hard for me to look at that screen. Let me try again. F12. All right. So we need to go to support assist OS recovery. So I have tried holding down the shift while restarting the computer. I have tried pressing F11. Uh, it doesn't want to boot into this, what we call the Windows uh, Advanced Recovery Mode. It doesn't want to go there. So there's only one way to go around it is what I'm just showing you right now. So once you get into this uh, support assist OS recovery, there are a couple of things that you can do here. You can do a hardware scan, repair, whatever computer problem you have, uh, maybe back up or clone your hard drive, or maybe you wanna do a factory reset uh, back to uh, original settings. So you can select any of the options that you want here. But for my purpose to reset the windows, I need to go onto the top right corner here, click on that little three dots. I want to go into Windows recovery mode. This is the screen where I want to get into and use the command prompt to override the uh, password so that I can get into the windows. Okay, so you should say, please wait and bring you up to that, this blue little screen 
where I can do the command prompt. All right, so it boots into this choose an option. If you have this screen here, like if you have HP, Asus, um, you know, Toshiba, whatever laptop Samsung that you have with the Windows, and you're in this screen here, then you can follow along with the uh, with, with the video. So click on troubleshoot. Click on advance. Go to command prompt. This is where we want to type in the commands right here. Okay, so the first thing we want to know that let's try to go to C drive. Put C colon, enter, and then let's do a DIR, meaning it's for directory. All right, so when I put a DIR, I can see that I do have a directory for Windows. This is where we need to get into is your Windows, right? So I do CD Windows. What I did is I press tap so it would auto fill that word for you. Hit enter. So I'm in Windows now. So I do CD. I want to go to system. So let me do system 32. Okay. So you can type in CD space system 32. Now you can see that the command folder starting from system 32. In system32, we do have a file is called cmd.exe. So we need to make a copy of that. So you type copy, C-O-P-Y, space, cmd, okay, dot exe. You want to name it to a different file. So we're going to name it as cmd1.exe. Okay, so we are copying cmd into cmd1.exe. It's the same file. We duplicate it to a second file, but you can't have the two name the same file. You can't have one file with two names on it. So we name one as the original cmd, the second one is cmd1. Hit enter. So it says one file is copied. Now we want to do the second one is what we call the utman.exe. So you press copy. UT man, okay. So that is the original file. We're making a duplicate of that. We're going to UT man one dot exe. Okay. So we are doing another copy, and it says the file is copy. Now, since we have the original copy to what we name it as one. Now we can actually delete the original. So we're going to delete the utman utman.exe that is the original of of that file. Remember? So we're going to delete that. So that file is gone. Now what we want to do is rename cmd Oops. So we want to rename CMD to UTMAN. So right here it says rename space CMD.exe space UTMAN. And you hit enter. Okay. So that is all done. Now the next step is to press S, type in exit, enter. We exit the command prompt. Now we, what we want to do is turn off your computer. And we just turn off the computer and get out from the Windows recovery advanced mode. All right. So now you can just close the screen, right? And then open up the computer. So let's open it up again. It is harder to open when it's upside down for some reason. Okay. The computer would turn on. So we are not pressing any F12 or anything. We'll let the computer boot into the login screen. All 
right, it gets to the login screen. Now the next step, what we need to do, you hit the space bar or anything, it brings you to the screen like this. Here, you want to click on this little globe. Not the globe, maybe the human. Yeah, click on this little human here, okay? And then when you click on the human, this thing pop up, the command prompt. And one last thing we need to do is to type in this control, control, right, space, user, password, actually is passwords, two, okay, control, space, user, passwords, two, and hit enter. And this little user account, right, this little window pop up. Now remember that David was the original user and we need to reset the password. So we select that user and we click reset password. Now what kind of password do we not want to put it in? So the new password, I'm just going to put 1234, 1234. Confirm my password again, 1234 and hit OK. Click OK. And here we can just close it out. And now here, remember the password that we typed it in earlier. 1234 never work. We change it, we reset it, now it should work. 1234 and hit enter. And there you go. We just log into the computer and this is your screen. So all the information, your data should all stay the same. Nothing has changed. And um, there you have it. So we just reset the entire uh, password for your Windows 11. And this has nothing to do with the BitLocker or anything like Windows account. This is just a standalone user for your Windows 11. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link um, the script in the description below uh, meaning that if if the wording was too small and you can't follow along with that uh, the coding uh, check out the description I will link uh, I will write it down in the description and you just follow along with that um, with the scripts okay and if you find the video is helpful please um, feel free to uh, comment below if you have any question comment below um, I do reach a comment and uh, please if you find the video is helpful uh, give me a like and subscribe to the channel all right thanks for watching until next time bye now